My name is Amy Copeland. I'm from Snellville, Georgia. I went to UGA for my bachelor's in psychology. I also have a master's in psychology from the University of West Georgia in Carrollton and a master's in social work from Valdosta State University. I live in Atlanta. I'm a private practice psychotherapist here. It was when I was at the University of West Georgia in 2012 that I faced a injury in which I fell from a zip line and got a very bad cut on my leg, which then contracted a bacteria called Aramonas hydrophilia. And that led to uh, what is colloquially known as flesh-eating bacteria or necrotizing fasciitis. At that time, my entire left leg had to be amputated at the hip and all of my vital organs were failing. So I had to be life flighted on full life support. I had to be on a medication called vasopressin. And over the course of two weeks on that medication, all of the veins and capillaries in my hands and my right foot collapsed. And so that also led to the amputation of my remaining limbs. I lived the first 24 years of my life without really having any concept of what it would be like to have a disability to now living with it every day. So it was actually when I was in the Shepherd Center that I thought of the Amy Copeland Foundation, not in those words, but where it was really conceived. Where I was at when I was injured is I wanted to be a wilderness therapist. So take people out on long hikes in the woods to find themselves. And as I'm laying there with no feet, I realized that probably is not going to happen anymore. But it was actually the longer that I laid there, surrounded by other people confined to their beds, that I realized this was the population that actually needed this the most. So starting the foundation has definitely changed my life. We've really been looking at how do we bridge this gap between nature and accessibility, and that's uh, what gave us the idea of our all-terrain wheelchair, where Georgians with disabilities can rent out one of these all-terrain wheelchairs at low or no cost and use them to explore our beautiful state parks. So that is my current passion project. I love that at BDI, you all are helping people to find employment because in the work that I've done with ACF over the last several years, employment is one of the number one issues that people with disabilities who are using our services are struggling with. I'm so happy that we have someone that we can send our folks to to fill in that gap because it is so important. If you're not able to have that basic need yet met, then you're not even worried about having fun or your mental health because you're worried about putting food on the table or just having a basic sense of achievement. So I think that having you guys as a resource is an integral part of the work that we do as well. There are other people who have faced these same losses or similar losses. And it's not the losses that define us, but it's through that suffering that we can actually really connect and feel empathy for each other. If I could go back to the Shepherd Center and talk to my former self, I think I would just tell her that she's gonna be okay and to keep going and that everything is unfolding exactly as it should.